Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickam, a cardiologist from Houston, Texas. The feature presentation is alternative to statins for lowering cholesterol levels. What alternatives do we have for treating patients who cannot tolerate statins? We look at, there are medications like uh, azetamide and uh, bile acid and a lot of different medications are available but one of the more recent ones has a much significant promise in terms of lowering the cholesterol level but also lowering the cardiovascular risks so let's look at this particular study before i go any further i would like to tell you i have put together a 250 pages uh, cardiology rotation manual. This is good for medical students, nurses, fellows, residents, even primary care doctors and cardiologists to have a quick reference of the entire field of cardiology when you're dealing with patients either in the office or in, in the hospital setup. So at the end I will tell you how you can get a copy of this free PDF book. So let us continue with the feature presentation. New England Journal of Medicine on March 4th, 2023 reported on bempedoic acid, bem, bempedoic, bempedoic acid and cardiovascular outcomes in statin intolerant patients. This was uh, headed by Steve, Niss, Steve Nissen. It was headed by Steve Nissen from Cleveland Clinic. It was a multi-center study involving a very large number of uh, patients. We are going to get into the details of that, uh, but I just want to emphasize the fact uh, this drug has been tried for several years. Uh, in fact, uh, there were five phase three trials performed in 2019. Now let's get back to the original question, statin intolerant patients. So what is the extent of statin intolerance and what kind of symptoms these people have and what other alternatives are available to treat these patients? Well, I went to chat GPT and asked the question, percentage of people who cannot tolerate statins. So it came up uh, with a very quick answer. It said 10 to 20% of the patients cannot tolerate statins because of muscle cramps, elevated liver enzymes, and very rarely related to rhabdomyolysis. But the most common symptoms are of course, uh, muscle cramps and abnormal liver function tests. However, these adverse reactions are extremely rare they say to a tune of 1% of people taking statins. But nonetheless, for those who are taking, who cannot tolerate statins, we need an alternative. So the next question I asked was, okay, can you cite some references uh, with the relationship to those people who cannot tolerate statins? So here it came up with four relations. So this is, uh, applying chat GPT to find quick answers to your presentations, be it medical or for YouTube or whatever it is. So let us, if you want, you can look at these references, but we're going to proceed with the, but we're going to proceed with the main study of for this presentation, namely the Bempedoic acid and cardiovascular outcomes in statin intolerant patients. So let's look at some of the characteristics of this particular study. Before I go into the study details, I just want to tell you where bempedoic acid fits in the treatment of uh, hyperlipidemia or especially elevated LDL cholesterol level. And as you know, the cholesterol is uh, generated in the liver, starting with citrate. Then we have the ATP citrate lyse, lyase, ATP citrate uh, lyase. Then it is converted into acetyl, it is converted into acetyl coenzyme A, then HMG coenzyme A. HNG coenzyme A reductase, then the 
mg coenzyme reductase inhibitors block the production of uh, the cholesterol the ldl cholesterol so this one acts way at the beginning of the formation of the ldl cholesterol from citrate coming from the tricarbolic acid cycle so this is an agent which blocks the synthesis of uh, cholesterol at the very early stages okay let's look at the study profile the study profile looked at uh, 6992 patients who received 180 milligrams of uh, bempedoic acid compared to 6978 people who received placebo and here's something i want to underscore all patients was statin intolerant. That's a pretty huge number, like 14,000 people. These patients who were receiving very low average daily statin doses without unacceptable effects could be enrolled. So, and a lot of these patients were on other medications like uh, azetamide, niacin, bile acid, fibrates, and other uh, cholesterol lowering agents. The duration was uh, 40 months, 40.6 months. The mean age was 65 years. Uh, females constituted 48% and 46% of them had diabetes. They looked at the, the MACE, the four component major adverse cardiovascular events, namely non-fatal myocardial infarction, non-fatal stroke, cardiovascular revascularization or death, so when they looked at all these four major adverse cardiovascular events, the Bempedoic group had a, a lower incidence compared to the placebo group. So let's look at the study results here. The primary outcome results. Bempedoic acid maze events were 11.7% compared to the placebo group where the MACE events were 13.3%. The hazard ratio was 0.87. So the 95% confidence interval was from 0.79 to 0.96 with a p-value of 0.004. So clearly, those people who were taking bempedoic acid had a much better outcome in terms of reduction of not only the LDL cholesterol, but also reduction in the major cardiovascular events. When they looked at the three component maze, namely non-fatal myocardial infarctions, non-fatal stroke, and cardiovascular deaths, uh, the improvement was much more significant. It was 8.2% in the treatment group versus 9.5% in the placebo group. And when they looked at individual events like fatal or non-fatal myocardial infarctions uh, there was significant difference coronary vascularization there was a significant difference uh, but uh, when it comes to all cause mortality there was not a significant difference and same thing with uh, fatal or non-fatal stroke so there was not a significant difference in stroke and overall mortality but in terms of reduction of uh, cardiovascular events there was definitely a benefit in the treatment group namely those who were receiving bempedoic acid here's a chart just showing the ldl reduction in the treatment group bempedoic acid compared to the placebo group the other interesting point is uh, uh, Here's another study which looked at the effect of uh, bempedoic acid versus a placebo. This was a smaller study, but nonetheless, it showed there was a reduction in the LDL cholesterol, there was a reduction in the non-HDL cholesterol, and also there was a reduction in the total cholesterol and apolipoprotein B. So all the major components showed improvement uh, with bempedoic acid and same thing with uh, even C reactive protein was uh, reduced with a p-value of 0.001 so it does 
not only reduces the LDL cholesterol, it reduces the total cholesterol, non-HDL cholesterol, and also C-reactive protein. So all of which are beneficial in reducing cardiovascular events. Some of the side effects, if you look at, are uh, muscle disorders, 15%, no difference, hyperuricemia. It was uh, slightly higher in the treatment group compared to the placebo group. Same thing, gout, a minor increase in the incidence of gout and cholelithiasis, the same thing. Mild increase in the incidence of uh, cholelithiasis in the bemphidoic group compared to the placebo group. Anyway, so I asked ChatGPT again, what are the side effects of uh, the bemphidoic acid? It came up with uh, respiratory tract infections, back urinary tract infections. I don't know, you got infections here twice. <laughs> Headache, pain in the extremity, hyperuricemia, which you already talked about, and nausea. So these were some of the side effects. And finally, I said, what is the cost of bemphidoic acid? Because you can get to statins for like $10, $15 today for 90 days supply. I, I wanted to find out what is the cost of bemphidoic acid. So I went back to chat GPT and posed a question. What is the cost of bemphidoic acid tablets? Here it is, 306 to 348 dollars per month for 180 milligram tablet for 30 days 30 days i'm talking about where the other statins you can get it for like 10 dollars or 20 dollars for 90 days so you always have to keep in mind the cost that is involved just because the drug is available doesn't mean you should be prescribing however you're prescribing them to a population that cannot tolerate statins so we had to look at various uh, aspects as can they tolerate uh, azetamide and uh, phenofibrate and all these other things when you have used all these things and you just not able to get the desired cholesterol level in a high risk patient then it is worth considering and it's it's helpful if they have a good prescription plan so that the cost could be substantially lower to those patients you think about medicare patients who are on a limited budget uh, and if they can afford these pills, if that is not included in their prescription part D plan. In conclusion, indicates bemphidoic, this study indicates bemphidoic acid is quite effective in lowering the cholesterol, in lowering the cardiovascular risk factors and in lowering the cardiovascular major adverse events. If you would like to get a copy of the, my cardiology rotations manual, please uh, send me an email explaining what is your role and uh, how this book might be helpful to you and send the email to Dr. Nick Nickum at gmail.com. I'll be more than happy to send a copy of that. You have been listening to Triple N Media. I am Dr. Nick Nickham, and please, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. I will see you in the next presentation. Thank you so much.